Photosynthesis has two things that I really, really like. Number one, the trees that actually grow in size. The game comes with little cardboard trees and they're small, medium, and large. And it's really cool having a game that doesn't just have a token that says one, two, or three, or small, medium, or large, but the game actually has things that you can watch grow, and that's a lot of fun. The other thing that I really like is a sun that rotates around the board. Throughout the game, you're gonna be growing these trees and you're gonna be trying to get sunlight. And so a sun is on a quarter of the board, shining down in one direction. But the sun doesn't just stay stationary, the sun actually moves around the board. So it's visually fun, but even more than that, it's really fun to decide where you're going to plant trees because trees can shade or block each other from getting points or light. And so it's really neat to have this sun that's moving around the board because you really have to decide when do you make your trees bigger? Do you plant them here or here because they're gonna be blocking your own or other players' trees? So those are the two things that I really, really like about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a game for two to four players that plays in about 60 minutes. The whole idea is that you are planting and growing trees, gaining sunlight that you're going to use to continue to grow your trees. So you're getting sunlight and you're earning these light points. So what do you do with these light points? You can do a few different things. You can buy more trees to make them available to plant. You can pay sunlight to actually plant seeds, which you then grow into small, medium, and large trees. The larger the tree, the more light points you get. So we've talked all about this light points, but how do you actually earn end game points? Because light points really aren't worth very much of anything at the end of the game. So the way that you actually win the game or earn real points is by uprooting your trees. Once you've grown your tree as large as it can go, you trash it, and then you start back over again. So you're wondering, but wait, if I get rid of my big tree, all of a sudden I'm getting a lot fewer light points. And that's true, and that's another interesting decision you get to make during the game. How long do you leave a tree there to earn light points, which will help you throughout the game, but at the end of the game, you can have a million light points and lose the game because you never got any actual points. So you're debating back and forth of, do I need light points now, or do I need these end game points? And it's a really interesting dynamic and one of my favorite parts of the game. So is photosynthesis fun? We mentioned the pros of the beautiful cardboard trees that you get to actually watch grow from small to medium to large. That's a lot of fun and it's satisfying to build your trees and to physically watch them growing in size. I love the decision making. Do I uproot a tree now to get end game points or do I hold on to it to get these light points or resources to spend throughout the game? I love how intuitive it is. Small trees grow to medium trees. Medium trees grow to large trees. It's so easy for people to learn because it just makes sense and so they did a really good job with that in the game. The number one thing I look for in a game is if it makes me feel clever. And photosynthesis has plenty of opportunities to make you feel clever because you have so many unique and interesting decisions. Do you plant a small tree here or do you wait till next turn so you don't block yourself? And what if I grow this to a medium tree next turn and I'll also get more points for doing that? Where if I did it this turn it would block me. There's so many chances to feel clever and I really appreciate that about this game. The problem with that is that there are so many decisions to make and there are so many little things you can do to get more points or to block yourself or to block other players that lots of times everyone will take one minute per turn, which doesn't seem like a long time, but suddenly the game is an hour and 20 minutes in and you're feeling like you're just ready for the game to end. And a lighthearted game about growing trees shouldn't feel like it's dragging. That's especially true with my second big complaint and that is that there's no real way to catch up once you're behind. If a player plays their trees wrong at first and they don't get enough sunlight, everyone else plays and gets more sunlight at first, just the one or two extra points, and suddenly they're growing all these medium and large trees around you and you're being blocked, so suddenly you're getting two, three, four points every round where everyone else is getting eight or nine points per round. Within about 15 minutes, you know that you've lost the game and there's absolutely no way to catch up. And if this game is going to take an hour and 20 minutes because people are taking their turns slowly, then that's a full hour that you're waiting to lose the game because you know you can't catch up. I've been in that position and I hated it. I watched my brother in that position and I hated it and he hated it 
it's not fun to be stuck where you know there's absolutely no way I can win. Depending on your group, those issues of slow play time or no good catch-up mechanism might not be a problem. If you're playing with people who think ahead and who plan ahead for their turns, the game will go quickly. And if you're not playing with a new player or if you're playing with players who are just as experienced as you, you'll all have a really good time. But I tend to teach the game to a lot of new people and every time I feel like I have to tell them what the strategy is, and I don't like that in the game. I want them to be able to think for themselves and make their own decisions and me not have to say, if you do that, you're gonna get behind and you're gonna be miserable for the next hour. Overall, I give photosynthesis a B minus. I definitely give it a thumbs up. I would give this a much better grade if there was a way to catch up once you're behind, but that alone makes it so that any time I play with a first time player, I either have to explain the game to them the first few rounds and what they need to do, or I have to be uncomfortable for an entire hour as I watch them miserably go through the motions of playing a game that they know they can't win. I'd love to hear your thoughts on photosynthesis. Go ahead and comment below. Until next time.